sheriff's here and state troopers here backs up into my fence wearing nothing but bra and panties then goes to get tools to actually cut off my fence we just got word that somebody crashed through our gate to the tower and i've got diana there now i'm gonna try and get see what's going on Let's see what's going on all right what's going on Yeah, she took the gate out. Hold on, sorry. So yeah, something, let me, let me get out. Somebody, or something, has run over to me. Wow. What's the other post look like? The post to the right, towards Susie's place. There is, uh, hold on, cause you're you're still on my speaker in my car. Hold on. I'm oh, that's why I couldn't hear you. Okay. All right. Okay. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. All right. Somebody else already contacted me. We used to have a camera right up there where you see where it says smile you're on camera But one of the local yeah. meth heads he uh, he paid One of the little well, he's not so little anymore. He was a juvenile He paid the juvenile to throw bricks at it and destroy it and I Fortunately unfortunately I was feeling graceful enough not to press charges on a juvenile hoping he would get his life back together and we never put the camera back up right there because we put the fence and the gate up. So um, another neighbor's already contacted me. They told me what's going on or what happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and call the Levy County Sheriff, and and then what I'll do is I'll call you back to meet them there. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go out and check your gate because you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what's going on down there, but I mean. There's Sorry. Yeah, the uh, the other gate is okay. It's just that gate, and and I I just I got to call the sheriff, make the report, and then I'll probably have you meet the sheriff. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna go feed the ducks anyway. All right. I was coming to do anything. Tell the ducks right. we miss them. Tell them we said quack quack. I will let them know. All right. Give them All right. Bye bye. All right. The gate's been destroyed. So the gate opens over here, but clearly now it opens over here. The entire side has been busted off. The sheriff, I'm sure, are on their way. looks like they took out the uh, warning pipe as well. I don't really want to touch anything. Here comes a truck. So, oh, there's a little dog. So the sheriff's here and state troopers here. So we'll see what happens now. This is an individual that George and I actually kicked off of our property a few months ago. We had to call the deputies because there was a drug deal going down. Interesting that now she's actually crashed through our gate. This is going to be interesting if she even stays out of jail. She's a realtor in Cedar Key, but she's a real... You know what? I'll just leave it at that. She's real. I just want you to separate yourself because it seems like it's becoming so, sort of a, a disagreement. Um, I don't want anything to occur. They're starting the vehicle now. Okay, if they leave, just tell me which direction they have. Um, did you 
you see any weapons, any drugs or alcohol with them? I do know they they deal, they are leaving, they're going to Florida State 24 right now, and I do know that the neighbor here deals mess out of the home. Gotta go ahead and call the Levy County Sheriff as much as I hate to do it. It's Otter Creek. Thank you for calling the Levy County Sheriff's Office. So, here this we go. Emergency. Hang up and dial 911. Okay, it's not an emergency. You know your party's extension. Press 8 now. We don't know the party's extension. To report a crime or speak to a deputy, press 1. Okay, we're going with 1. Wait while I transfer your call. Hi Odessa, my name is Jeremy. I'd like to report a crime, damage to my property. Somebody crashed through my gate. Okay, what's your address? And you said your name is Jeremy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you know who did it or anything? Or? Um, yes, somewhat. And to tell you everything, it's probably just easier to tell a deputy because I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to relay it all right. Okay, gotcha. Crashed through gate. Are you at that address now? No, but I have an employee there. An employee will meet a deputy there. And it's the gate to the cell tower. I have multiple gates on my property. They should know what I mean by the cell tower gate in Otter Creek. Okay. Um, what kind of, did you like, see the vehicle or anything? Or? From what I've been told, just so you understand, I'm not in Florida right now. My neighbor contacted me and shared everything with me that it's a white Ford truck. And there is another neighbor who has video of it. I'm glad Otter Creek is filming everything now. Um, all right, I think I got everything I need for a deputy to go out there. Uh, if, he, if you get a call from our block to restrict your number, that's going to be the deputy, okay? Jeremy? Okay, Okay. and I'll need the deputy to let me know when to have the employee there. I just had the employee there. The employee is going to go to the post office, and then and once the deputy calls me, I'll have the employee meet the deputy there. Okay, I will put that in here so that way he knows. All right, appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Now we wait for the deputy to go out to the property and meet with Deanna and see what's next. Otter Creek just keeps getting otter and otter. Since she's a realtor, her number's all over the internet. I figure I might as well call her right before the sheriff calls me. Let's see what she has to say. The number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. I bet. I bet they do. Let's see if we can find another number. Let's see what she has to say about crashing through my gate. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the complete... We just got to find the right one and see if we can call her before the sheriff deputy calls us. Hmm. We've kicked her off the property once. Let's ask her to buy a property. I mean, she's a realtor. She's got she's to gotta know some good properties, right? We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected. We've tried three different numbers now that are online for Michelle McCain. We're going to try the office now and see if they'll give us her cell. Let's see what happens here. Maybe they can patch us through to her cell, but I got to figure a life of drugs, life of alcohol that maybe her cell doesn't even work right now. Maybe she's a one person show. Who knows? Well, that didn't help us. 
We've tried four different numbers for Michelle McCain already, and now I'm on her actual business website where she works. Doubt she owns it. But uh, we definitely have called one of the right numbers and probably multiple others. I'm guessing she's so mixed up with drugs, alcohol, and that lifestyle right now that she's probably not even paying her phone bill, let alone going into work. You, you just wake up in the morning and you're like, you know what? I think it's going to be a peaceful, relaxful day. And then Otter Creek comes out of nowhere. Like, hey, I'm Otter Creek. Mm -hmm. I got a video of that. You're the Tony? On. Okay, yeah. hold on. Hey, guys, that's Tony. Hey, Tony. Not him, the other guy. <laughs> The other guy just walked off with his dog. He'll be he said he'd be right back. This is North English Ave. Yeah, this is Second Street. This is North English Ave. Okay. Hey man. How's it going, boy? You good. You I shake your hand, but it's all dirty. Oh, you're good. Um, it was Michelle McCain the one that hit the gate. Did uh, you we were, see her driving? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. She was most definitely driving. She was ripping rare and up here all through last night running, you know, probably 50, 60 mile an hour, about wrecked mm -hmm. a couple of times, spinning tires and stuff, uh, drunk. She's actually the one that come and got um, the camper that was mm -hmm. over here on this property. They're gonna make a report this in a little while. Um, they came and stole a camper and she's on video okay. of doing that with her truck and the other gentleman. <clears throat> it's kind of hard. This is here. Every time I pull her up, it, it, she's in her bra and pain. That's what I'm <laughs> just saying. Yeah, she's definitely drunk. She's, yeah, once she's seen I was filming, she started running back to the truck. Yeah. And, and you'll see her truck in just a second when it comes by. There is the audio on it, but for some reason my phone, I broke my phone too much. Okay. Is there a way you could email that to me? Yes, yeah, sir. And it shows the, it'll show her truck and everything. Yeah. It's a white Ford F-150. Um, let's see if I can email it. J A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time was this? This was about twelve thirty one o'clock. Twelve thirty one. It was early in the morning because we, no, we just got back from England, so it was about it was about ten ten ish ten thirty. Okay. Uh, as soon as we come back, we were, she was blocking the road. She had a roadblock sideways, yeah. sideways to it, and she just pulled forward, and then she backed up and hit the gate. Yeah. And then pulled, I was trying to get my phone to video her then, but I smashed it, so it, it's hard to get it to go through the videos. Mm -hmm. And I uh, finally got it to camera. I had to flip my camera around, but it uh, okay. Let me run to my computer real quick to see if I got it. Do you have your driver's license on you? Uh, they're in the car. Okay. I'll go get them. Yeah. I'll run to see if I can get that video. So this was early evening yesterday, like 10, uh, 10, yeah. not, it was before midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was, he was turning them around, but he blocked her, went a little, a little, uh, both, both sides of the, Road there and uh, blocked off. She blocked both sides of the road and then walked off? And what, no, it just sit there for a while with a boat. Uh, bo I'm sorry, uh, I got a head of folk. Oh, that's fine. Did the email go did through? Can you look and see it says it was sent? 
I wasn't. He ain't got it yet. I can okay. text it to you probably. Mm -hmm. Hit hit it twice, backing up, and then jumped out of the truck and we'll kick it on the wet the ground on the uh <laughs> yeah, she said she was going to go get the tools to finish cutting it out. The gate? Yeah. Okay. So well is it? Sure we can do right now. Mm -hmm. I don't see what it's can send it through text. Not through text. Do you have WhatsApp? Yeah, my work. We don't have work. Yeah, I mean, I, is it just saying that email's not? Uh, I ain't never really even used email. Like, I don't ever text it or send through it. So I might be doing it wrong. <laughs> text it to me. It's not very durable. Yeah. It's breakable. You can't really put a case on it. No, you got, there's no case for it, so it's kind of ridiculous. It's a good thousand dollars, really. And they don't cover the crack, crack screen or nothing. Like Jeez. That. Sheriff Deputy. Hello, this is Jeremy. Hey, what's the man? This is Trooper McConnell with the Highway Patrol. Hey, Trooper McConnell, how are you doing today? Doing good, brother. I've seen your gate. It's all smashed up down here. Yeah, they don't, um, they, they're not sending out the Levy County Sheriff. They're sending out Highway Patrol now? Yeah, yeah, they're here. We work all traffic crashes, though. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so... Do you guys have video footage of it? Yes. See on the so with the video footage? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you everything that I know. Okay. Uh, so obviously I'm not there in Florida right now. So a resident of Otter Creek contacted me and said your gate has been crashed into, and okay. and so there is there are cameras back there. There's not a camera right there on the gate. One of the residents, one of the local drug addicts actually uh, had another kid smash it with a brick and we never replaced that one. So basically, here, here's in a nutshell. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. All right, so I here... I tried to connect to my phone real quick, so... Here, here's in a nutshell what happened. This morning, yeah. around 8 to 8.30, I'm just going to tell you everything that I do know. This morning, around 8 to 8.30, a travel trailer was stolen from Michael Santana, which is you're standing in my property, the next property over that's that's Susie's property, the next over that's okay. Michael with the trailer. There was a travel trailer stolen this morning from Michael's yard, and it was from okay. Johnny Henby, and he's in Williston. So Henby is H E N B as in boy Y, and then Michelle McCain. And she's a realtor for Pelican Realty in Cedar Key, okay? Uh -huh. And sh Michelle McCain was driving. They're driving a white truck. I've actually kicked these two off the property before. Uh, they, were doing, yeah. they, they were doing drugs. I have video of that, chasing them off the property right there at the gate. And uh -huh. uh, Michelle McCain ran into the gate last night. There's a local resident, Tony McKnight, or excuse me, just Tony Knight, who has video of her running into the gate. I don't have Tony. I'm guessing. I don't know Tony personally, but he's told other residents that he will provide the video footage. So he, he has stated that he will share the video footage with the law enforcement. Again, that's Tony Knight has video footage of it. He's a resident of Otter Creek. And Michelle McCain 
who is a realtor with Pelican Realty in Cedar Key. She's the yeah. one that crashed into my gate with a white truck. I yeah, I've I've filmed her and it's I've been told that she's she's drunk this morning. Uh, and yeah. I'm sure she was drinking last night and was doing drugs as well, but uh, which is yeah. normally the case there. So that's all the information I have. Travel trailer was stolen eight eight to eight thirty. Well, apparently last night she she ran into my gate and smashed. So that was last night with the gate. That's what I've been told. Tony McKnight, or okay. excuse me, Tony Knight has video footage of it. He is willing to share with law enforcement. And then they stole a travel trailer from Michael's this morning, 8 to 8.30, the same white truck that they crashed through my gate. Okay. Do you know if it's a Ford, Chevy, GM? I don't know. So I have, I looked at my, it's a white pickup. I looked at the video footage. I used to have all of it, her license plate. And Levy County Sheriff will have me contacting them and and Mm -hmm. going after her for the drug bust is for the drug deal that was going on there too, which was a few months ago. But but I looked at the video footage that I kept, and I can't tell her license or her her license plate number, and I can't tell what make and model it is either. It's just a white truck. It's a pickup truck. Okay. All right. Um, and you're the owner of the gate. Correct? I am the owner. There's 70 acres there. I am the owner of the gate. Correct. Okay. Do you have a good email or uh, that I could reach out to you? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on a crash report. I'm going to try and get up with all these leads. Um, especially the Tony Knight, if he's got video footage of it, that'll help get me a little bit further. Um, Based on what I got right now, I'm going to go ahead and start on the report. I'll email you a copy of the driver's exchange form, which is just a short form. It takes about 10 days to complete the official report. Okay. That way you have it just for your records and insurance purposes stating, yeah, I called law enforcement. They showed up and worked the report on it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and tag down some of these leads. Um, Most hit and runs, though, I'm going to be honest with you, in the state of Florida, they don't go anywhere, okay, because it's very hard to prove who, what, when, where, and why, okay? In the state of Florida, we have to prove who was driving at the time of the crash and what vehicle they were driving. So if he's got video footage of the truck. He's got the video footage. A little bit further. Yep. But if I can't see who's driving, that's going to tie me up a little bit, okay? But I will still put the truck information Mm -hmm. on the report. I just won't have a driver to go after, okay? So he can positively identify somebody saying, yeah, this is who was driving at this time. I'll use him as a witness and take whoever that was, either charge him criminally for hit and run or take him to jail. Now, I haven't seen the video footage yet. Once you get it, can I get a copy of that as well? Can you give it to Deanna there? I will try. Perfect. If he's able to give me a copy of it, um, I might have to come back down within the next couple of days to get a USB drive to put it on, or if he's able to email it to me. But if he's able to email it to me, I'll shoot it straight over to you. Okay, that, that way you can have that'd be perfect. Or Deanna can go and get USB drives. I mean, she'll do whatever she can to help this be as yep. fast as possible. All right, man. I appreciate it. Um, and once I send you that email, you're free to email like the FHP and try to reach out to Troop Connell. And then I'll try to help answer the questions you got. All right. I appreciate all your help, Trooper McConnell. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks a bunch. Yes, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. You understood all that, right? Michelle McCain, a resident of Cedar Key, at midnight to 1 a.m., running up and down North Otter Creek Avenue, parks her vehicle, backs up into my fence, wearing nothing but bra and panties, then goes to get tools to actually cut off my fence. You can't make this stuff up. Stay tuned because as soon as we get this video from the local sheriff and the state trooper, we're going to show you Michelle McCain. She's literally in her underwear, crashing through my gate. This is what we call methed up, kids. Say no to drugs.